Is petroleum renewable and what are the environmental implications? Well, as I'm sure you all know, petroleum is not renewable. I think as I mentioned when we had the, the, coal, the coal power plant up there, it's not renewable and it's, it's very polluting, unfortunately. And also unfortunately, all fossil fuels are due to run out at some point. They will not go forever. This is why we're trying to, uh, chemists and scientists are trying to look into more renewable resources such as wind and um, water and those sort of things. So it's not greenhouse neutral either. It pollutes our environment. So when the fossil fuels are taken out of the ground and burnt, the carbon that was locked away under the ground is burnt and it's transferred and transformed into carbon dioxide, which I'm afraid is a greenhouse gas, which is not good for our environment because it may be leading to global warming. So that's the end of today's topic. I'll just sum up for you what we went through. The main points I'd like you to take is that we talked about petroleum refining and specifically about fractional distillation. And if you remember, here's a very simple diagram of our fractional distillation column with our different fractions coming off. And if you remember that down the bottom is higher temperatures, temperatures, and up the top was lower temperatures, lower temperatures. So the smaller the hydrocarbon, the higher up the fractional distillation column it will elute or come off, and the longer the hydrocarbon chain, the lower down the fractional distillation column it will come off. And this is due to dispersion forces. So the longer the chain, the more electrons, negative, 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 and the more electrons, the stronger those weak dispersion forces. So therefore, this temperature, for example, 400 degrees, is of course hotter at the bottom than at the top. And they're the main points that I'd like you to take from today's lesson. So that's all for now, and thank you.